What's happening YouTube? KP Tutorial 9, Enumeration Using Get Host by Address, Part 1, Setting Up Our Host List. Alright, so where we left off from um, before, um, basically what we're going to do now is try and enumerate a bit of enumeration um, using the Get Host by Address function, okay, in the socket module in Python. So if you just run this, this is where we left off. Now, what I want to do here is, um, according to the host name, if it's resolved, okay, I want to I want to put a, a certain logo on the button. All right. So I've prepared these buttons. I'm probably going to supply these in the next tutorial in part two. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do now is just lay the foundation down uh, for the next tutorial part two. Okay. So um, first of all, I want to make a list that's going to collect all the all the nodes that we catch um, in our scan so that we can count the length of the list and then adjust the scroll view um, adjust the scroll views height according to the amount of nodes in the list okay so everything looks okay so let's just do self dot node list equals empty list Okay, we're gonna append to this when uh, we receive an ARP response. And now, let's uh, create our our list. That's gonna create. That's going to create. That's gonna contain um, all of the makes, models, OSs, and stuff that we're gonna go through. All right. So we're gonna use conditional statements. Okay, and reference through the list uh, later to determine which logo to apply to each button. All right, so if, for example, um, in the host name, it says Mac, okay, or MacBook, or something like that, um, it's going to take the first item in that list and display it as um, display it on the button to just to tell the user, look, this is an Apple, or this is um, a Windows machine, or this is an Android. Okay, now I'm just going to put some default values in here. Um, just for my network, just for just for testing purposes, okay? Because um, I know, for example, um, my Windows PC. Let's put Windows. My Windows PC is um, is named User One, okay? So I'm gonna put this as a default value, just for testing. All right, but also you can put Vista XP Seven. You know, there's a lot of machines out there that are just named named that or the name Microsoft Server or whatever. Okay, so use your imaginations. Um, obviously, there's a lot of ways to do this. All right, it's not the most accurate of, of ways. Okay, but it is one way of enumeration. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And what else have we got? We've got a gateway. All right. Um, Back in Britain, and uh, used to be like uh, if you're connected to like Virgin or what was it, uh, whatever it was, the, the the router used to be, I think it used to actually have Virgin in in the um, SSID. Okay, so the host name as well may contain that. So you know, use your imaginations um, uh, to make this a bit more powerful. All right, we're actually going to use the OUI's example as well in later tutorials just to make this um, more powerful and give it some more kick. All right, so we've got Linux Apache. Let's put Ubuntu in there as well. Look at Tux. Look at Tux up there. What are you doing, mate? Get off my screen. All right, let's just neaten this up a bit. Got the backspaces. Okay. Also, you can put whatever else in there as well. Um, okay. Right. So, once we come down here, let's um, I might put a yeah. I'm gonna put the list in here as well, just to make sure um, that list is empty when the art scan is run okay make sure list is empty 
Once again, guys, thanks for the support. Appreciate it a lot. Okay. Um, let's do a print statement here. Because I want to see how many threads is created. Obviously, it's going to be 254, but I want to see them as they're created. Just to, just for some debugging and see what's going on when the, when the programs run. So we do started thread. Uh, percentage S, if you're not used to Python, is a placeholder for the string. Okay. So the variable would be IP. Okay. And now we have to import the list as an argument. Okay. Um, otherwise, it's going to throw an error if we use it in our thread. So we do self, self dot node list, node list. And I'm using the new, um, new text editor, spider. Pretty good. I'm pretty pleased at the moment. Uh, so we're going to pass the list. Um, Okay, and it's going to size the nodes. All right. We're going to add the logo list as well. That's going to be in part two, guys. Yeah, Spider's um, quite a good text editor. I'm quite um, quite pleased with it. I've never heard of it. Um, I can't use Vim, so I'm not quite leet. I'm not leet. No. But uh, Spider's good. I mean, Sublime's awesome as well. Can't fault sublime. Uh, self dot node height equals the length of the list, i.e. the amount of nodes that's in the list. Okay, so that should make sense. Times the height, and we're going to change the height to this because I've actually the custom button backgrounds I've made are 150 pixels. Okay, and let's just do a bit more formatting here. So we're going to do VLine. It's for the text, so it's in the middle. I don't want it over to the side or anything. I want it in the middle and horizontal line center. So we'll do that as well. And Kivi makes it really easy to do this sort of stuff. Okay, hats off to the creators. Thanks for Kivi. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get rid of that. Right. Okay. And if we get a response, self.noglist.append. Append. Op response. Okay. So it's just going to append the packet in there. All right. You could easily just put, um, Art response, P source, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's still going to be an item in the list, so there we go. And let's also adjust the um, let's adjust the scroll view bar. Okay, since it's um, a desktop application, all right. Um, so it's just a bit more visible. It's obviously going to be larger, but so it's actually there. I want it to be a bit bit um, bit fatter, a bit more plump. Right, so finally, let's do a socket get host by address. Try. Right, it's important to put the try here because if it doesn't resolve, if something happens, then it doesn't crash the program. So self dot get host by address, and then our response p source p s r c. Okay. And we do a little accept. Actually, it's the first item. It's assign host name equals socket. And it's the first item because it's actually a list. So it's actually the first item. So we put index it as zero. So it's bracket zero. Okay. Now in part two, we're going to get into the uh, inner workings, okay, and actually access the logo list, okay, and assign the right button. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for the support. If you like what you watch, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it, guys, as always. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.